Which brings us to our panel of women. Amanda Stoker, the Liberal Senator from Queensland, who belongs at the top of the tree, and Tanya Plibersek, the former Deputy Leader of the Labor Party and a very powerful figure in the alternative government. Tanya, can I come to you first because uh, you've had experience in government. I mean, President Xi has described the United Front as his magic weapon. The Australian Strategic Policy Institute analysis suggests that they've spread into universities, corporations and political parties. Tanya, what needs to be done? Well, there's two things I think we need to be careful of, Alan. The first is, as you said, um, Politicians go to uh, functions all the time. I I've been to Chinese functions, I've been to uh, Lebanese Maronite functions, Greek Orthodox functions in my electorate, Vietnamese, I've been to Jewish Hanukkah, I've been to, you know, right across the board. And that's quite proper because we have uh, new Australians, as my parents were called when they came here, who settle in Australia, who are great pa Australian patriots, um, but they want to share their culture. And that's a really great thing to be involved in. What you're talking about is something much more malevolent, which is the attempt of foreign governments to influence what, what happens here in Australia. Uh, it's not unique to Australia. Um, there's more than one government trying to do it. In fact, the head of ASIO has said very clearly that there has not been a time in history where the mm. efforts of foreign governments to mm. infiltrate and influence Australian domestic politics has been as acute as yeah, it is quite. now. And we yeah. have to defend against that. Mm. In 2018, Labor supported two uh, pieces of legislation to try and push back on foreign interference. Uh, we refused to take uh, uh, donations from... Uh, foreign sources years before the government legislated to prevent that. Um, just recently, we suggested an inquiry in the Senate to look at the use of social media in efforts to yeah, infiltrate yeah. and influence Australian domestic politics. We have to push back against Definitely. all of it. And one, just the one last thing, Alan, you were sort of making implications about the Victorian government. I know Premier Andrews. He is an Australian patriot. He is a fine Australian patriot. Mm. I'm worried, about, I'm worried about the Belt yeah. and Road stuff, uh, Tanya, and I think yeah, the Belt and Road we... is, is an attempt for China to exert influence in a whole heap of countries. They're doing it right around the world. But look, I'm just going to Amanda. Amanda, mm -hmm. if the fullest extent of Chinese communist influence in the Australian political system is unknown, how do we find out? Well, I think the fact that we are having... Um, moments like discovering um, Aldi bags full of cash being delivered to Labor headquarters from people connected to the Chinese Communist Party, um, we know that Australia's intelligence agencies are doing their job. The, the first priority of the Australian government always has to be to keep Australians safe from those who would do them or the institutions on which they depend harm. And that's why the Morrison government has been committed to giving these agencies the powers and the resources and the police bodies that need to follow up with investigations and prosecutions what they need to be able to deliver for Australians. Well now, Tony, if I come back to you, when uh, Sharket Mosselmane says, and I quote, as you are aware, the Australian Chinese commun community has been under sustained political, racial and physical abuse, they don't deserve the slander that they have received and certainly didn't deserve the abuse and violent political attacks they have so far sustained. I is that view is entitled to the view, and I, we talk about free expression, he's entitled to say that. Does it suggest, though, that he might be doing someone else's bidding? Well, the first thing to say is I thought Amanda might mention Gladys Liu, who is a Liberal Member of Parliament who has uh, public links with the Communist Party That is absolutely Party right. That's quite right. Quite right. Uh, and r rather than trying to Im imply that this is somehow a Labor thing and a Liberal thing... No, I'm not thing, suggesting that. No, to... no, I'm not no, suggesting no, I know you're not. No. Amanda just did. Mm. And, Alan, what I would say is we need to work together. This should be above politics. Yeah, absolutely. All of us should be pushing away any attempt to influence our domestic politics by any outside uh, in, um, influencer. Now, I'm not going to comment on the Shaket Mosselmane investigation. I wouldn't comment on any... No, I was only using that as an example, Tanya. Yes, but, but um, he's right in one sense. We, we do need to have robust political debates and people ought not be afraid to state their views in public. Uh, that's a really important part of our democracy that we need to protect. But always, always, Alan, we should be uh, acting in the best interests of Australia. We should be putting Australia... Absolutely. Well, first. just on that, if I come to Amanda, if the United Front Amanda is, as President G suggests, his magic weapon... Shouldn't we start getting a wriggle on and finding out where they exist in universities, corporations and political parties? 
Look, yes, but I think we can take some comfort from the fact that our intelligence agencies are uncovering problems of this kind um, more and more. That tells us that they have the powers they need to be doing their job of protecting Australians from those um, who don't have Australia's interests at heart. Now, I have to take um, the point, though, on um, Ms Liu, that is a entirely unfair comparison in circumstances where we have the Victorian government signing up to a program that is about delivering the Chinese Communist Party influence over governments here in Australia <laughs> using their financial means, where we have former Labor senators who have had to resign over inappropriate connections to Communist Party influences, where we have had Aldi bags full of cash arriving, um, and now we have um, Mr Mosselmane um, raided for um, what appears to be an investigation into his staff and their inappropriate links. The comparisons could not be further from the truth. And the reason I raise well, it is that Amanda, to suggest you, that Labor's... You might, have missed, you might have missed the reporting in New South Wales papers well, today about the $1,000 donation from the company that Alan what, mentioned yes, to I, a Liberal I Party MP. I haven't missed that, Tanya. But the difference here is that you've come on the program and said that Labor are different because they outlawed donations. Well. Um, that's all good and well, but when it's arriving in um, an Aldi bag, it suggests well, that I think... whatever your um, policy might be, mm. it isn't being borne out in real life. Well, I think, Amanda and Tanya, isn't it true that where national security is involved, we've got to try and have a, an agreement between parties as to how it's going to be addressed? I mean, these are serious 100%. threats. Serious threats, aren't yeah. they? Look, we'll, we'll leave it there. It's good to talk to you. I wanted to have a yarn with you tonight, too. We've run out of time on the budget, so store that along and we'll see actually how either of you thinks we're going to overcome the kind of budget problems we face. I think you'd both agree they're pretty significant, aren't they? Mm. OK, good to talk well, to you, Tony. Unemployment. Uh, unemployment in particular. Uh, big issue, big issue. Amanda, thank you for your time. There they are. They're two thank the, you, Alan. The big